Hello and welcome to another video from Investing in Life. Since the last video I posted about sleeping, someone commented that it would be nice to see the Google Assistant routines. And I thought I could now make a video about Google Assistant and how I have set up my personal routines. So first, to get started, you will have to open up your settings. Usually if you scroll down from the top, you can open up the settings. And then, just to, by the way, this is uh, MIUI from Xiaomi, so your settings might look a little bit different. But if you scroll down, I think for all of the Androids, you should have this Google option here. Once you have clicked the Google, it will open up these options for you. And from here, you would want to select account services and then search assistant and voice. And then you would select Google Assistant. Once you have opened that one, you will see these options from here. First, you will need to train your Google Assistant to recognize your voice. So you would select voice match. Now, usually then this one would be turned off like this and then you would turn it on and then you would train your voice model. So then you would have to say about five times, hey Google, and then it would be set up. I think it will also ask if you want to enable additional options for more functionality, but then the Google Assistant will have more options to use uh, your data on your phone. So up to your own prefer personal preference. You can uh, either enable them or not enable them. I think I have enabled them for myself, so I don't mind about that. But it's up to you. Then you can go back and now you can select routines. Here are some uh, preset routines. Oh, sorry. Uh, I haven't really done much anything for these. But if you want to select uh, and do your own routine, you can select new one here and then you can select here what is uh, the trigger for the routine. So you can have your own voice command. You can just say whatever you want and it will trigger the routine. Or you can select a specific time you want or sunrise, sunset. I don't know how this one actually works, this uh, last option, but uh, rather than this one, I would probably use the time or voice command. So even if you think of it, oh, it's just a routine, you can still have like an automatic task done via voice command if you do this uh, option, the first one. But this is if you want to create a new one for yourself. And then here you can select an action. And for this one, there's, there's a lot of uh, different uh, preset ones created by Google. So here, these mostly work very well. I think, for example, if you have some smart devices on your house so you can uh, adjust your lights uh, thermostat alarm system lock doors etc if you have any of these i currently don't have any of the smart devices on my home uh, maybe in the future i will buy some and check how they work if uh, if i do so i might make a future video to introduce them just uh, please let me know down below in the comments if you think that would be interesting but uh, otherwise, the one I like to use quite often is this uh, try your own. So if you select this one, you can type here whatever you would normally say to your Google Assistant. So you would say, hey, Google, and then you have some comment afterwards. That comment you would type here in your own words. So it has good examples. Set volume 50, what's the weather, or like what time is it, or nearest restaurant or whatever you want you can do these by yourself and you can add as many as you want and that is how you can uh, create your own routines so let's close this one first i'm not creating now a new one but here are a couple of uh, pre-made ones here's for commuting maybe some people would like to put some uh, music going on when when they're going to work with their car for me personally i go with the bicycle so i don't really use these ones but i have left them there in case in the future at some point i would be using car or public transportation here you can also set when you're in and out of your home and as i mentioned these would be probably best uh, to use with uh, some smart devices for setting the lights and uh, temperature and uh, etc so locking your home as well would be one option but here are the ones that i'm actually using so 
first let's look at the bedtime here I have set up a timer for one hour and play relaxing music now this is very simple and easy to set up and why do I have it like this is the reason that uh, usually when it gets uh, later during the night then I like to say hey Google and bedtime then it will set up one hour and this this one hour is time for me to do whatever I need to do before I go to sleep and I will have some time to relax before going to sleep so usually it would mean that I would go to the shower eat uh, wash my teeth go to the toilet uh, and uh, do some stretching etc and then while I'm doing that it will be playing me some relaxing music so I'm getting to a mindset that now it's time to relax and once the one hour is gone usually I'm done with pretty much what I have been doing and then I can just stop the music and I'm ready to go to sleep it is very simple and easy to set up and if you would like to do the similar you can do the same very easily and you would just add the action and you can do the, the custom action and here you would type the same words as I have typed here so if we go back here you would type set timer for one hour and then do another one play relaxing music and that's it and this one will automatically play music from uh, YouTube music unless you set up your own uh, music service you can specify where you want to set have the music from but YouTube music seems to be quite uh, quite good so far so I, I like to use that one then for the morning one here I have four actions this is quite quite the normal default one as uh, as Google is uh, set up pre set up one I haven't modified much so when I wake up it will tell me weather it will tell me if I have something on my agenda and uh, if I have any reminders and then it will play into the news but usually before actually before I use this one I like to do the thing that uh, I have the phone quite near to where I'm sleeping so if I if I wake up but I still feel sleepy then I don't open my eyes I will keep my eyes closed and I will ask my phone hey Google what time is it and if it is before 9 a.m. the phone doesn't reply me anything I will later on show you why it is like that but anyhow it doesn't reply to me anything and if I still want to know what time is it before 9 a.m. I will say hey Google turn up the volume and then I will ask again what time is it and then it will tell me what time it is but if it is after 9 a.m. then it will just tell me the time and then I can just uh, think if I want to s start the morning routine yet or if I still want to sleep a little bit more so that is one method I use so that I will know what time is it and if it is a good timing to get up or not without having to open my eyes and for many people if if they open their eyes in the morning they will kind of wake up and it's harder to get back to sleep so this is a very good method to enable yourself to know if you have to do something or if you can still keep sleeping so that is what I like to do for the morning and now the next thing was that why did I why was uh, the, the Google Assistant not replying to me before 9 a.m. so if we go back to the settings from here and then we would go to the sound and vibration here we have the silent DND and this one I have actually set up a schedule for it so if we click on here and I have here made my own quiet time so if I open this one you can see here that uh, every day from 10 p.m. and to 9 a.m. between 10 p.m. and 9 a.m. my phone will automatically go to silent mode so regardless of what happens the phone will not do any sounds it will have no vibration so this guarantees that regardless of when I will uh, receive any 
emails or phone calls or messages or some notifications. It will not be disturbing me when I want to be relaxing. And I know this is quite a long time, if you think of it, because it's 11 hours about. So some people might want to have a little bit shorter period. I like to have 11 hours because I think it's a very good. Uh, maybe I might consider one more hour. So the half of the day I have completely undisrupted time that nobody will be disturbing me unless I want to be checking something myself. But there will be nothing trying to capture my attention. So I get the good relaxing time every day and that allows me to recharge myself and be more energetic throughout the days when I'm actually doing things. So this is something that you can also set up on your phones and this will be completely automatic. You can set up different ones for weekend and weekdays but I think it's more consistent to have it on every day and for me personally I think if after 10 p.m. if I'm still checking on my phone I could be doing it again in the morning. It's, 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 there shouldn't be anything that important during the night that I have to check on my phone. And if I get notification, I can read it later on. This is my personal opinion and my personal approach. Um, if you thought this was interesting, hit the like button. If you have uh, any other ideas, if you think uh, something else would be more interesting to set up, uh, please let me know down below the comments what you thought about this. And uh, please consider subscribing to the channel, if nothing else. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.